Now that we have our CMake list files generated, let's go ahead and show it in action and compile this plugin. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a build directory. You can actually call this whatever you want. Most people just call it build. And then I'm going to open a command prompt in that location. If you're on a Mac or Linux, you can just open a terminal and go into that directory. So here I'm just going to type cmake-h, and you can see all the help for the cmake command, all the flags, and all the available generators. So the most important flag that we're going to look at right now is the, cat, is the dash capital G, and that is used to specify the build system generator. And that basically is used to specify which Visual Studio we want, or if we want a make file, or which uh, development environment that we want to generate. Uh, since I'm on Windows, uh, compiling for Maya 2015, I'm going to want Visual Studio 2012, because if you look at the documentation, uh, that's what it says, uh, which compiler they compiled uh, Maya on on Windows, so you generally want to keep it the same. So I use Visual Studio 11 2012. If I'm on Mac or Linux, you probably want to use a Unix make file. So here I'll just type cmake-g Visual Studio 11 2012. One extra thing you have to do on Windows, uh, since Maya is a 64-bit application, you just have to add Win64 there. Uh, what I'm also going to specify is uh, a variable override. So I said dash D, Maya version equals 2015. So if you remember uh, in the module that we wrote, we created some variables with this cache keyword, like the Maya version and uh, the, what else, the Maya install base path. Uh, those allow us to override those values at runtime. So if we go back, right now what I'm doing is overriding which Maya version I want to compile with. 2014 or 13 or 12, I could specify that just in the command line. So I have cmake-g Visual Studio 11, 2012, Win64, dash D, Maya version 2015. Uh, now I need to specify a path to the root cmake list directory. Since I'm in this build directory, my root cmake list is in one level up, so I'm just going to go to the up uh, previous directory. After I run that, you can see all this info is spit out, and it generated build files in that directory. If I look in there, there's my Visual Studio solution. If you're on Linux or Mac and you use the Unix make files generated, you'll probably see a make file in there. You'll also see a bunch of other files. Uh, you usually don't need to pay attention to any of these on Windows. Uh, this part mostly may, uh, pertains to Windows Visual Studio users. So if you're on Mac or Linux, just bear with me. Uh, you'll see that there's a few different projects generated over here in the Solution Explorer. Uh, you can pretty much ignore all build and zero check. Those are uh, just projects that make CMake work uh, nicely with Visual Studio. Uh, this is where our actual plugin project is, sample plugin. If you look at the all the include directories, you can see there's my 2015. There's the, the library. Uh, you can see in the input, all the libraries are specified in here. You see that it's the full path and all the other Maya libraries. You see our project is set up for us. So we usually don't need to do anything with our project properties. It should automatically be set up for us. Uh, the one thing you do want to pay attention to, at least on Windows, is there's four different configurations. There's debug, minimum size release, release, and release with debug info. Uh, the debug and debug info is if you want to generate all the debug symbols for your plugin. And that's useful if you want to attach Visual Studio to the, uh, the Maya process to help debug your, your plugin. Uh, just be aware that debug is a lot slower than release. So if you're ready to release your plugin to other users, you generally want to compile with release. So if I switch this to release, I can hit F7 to compile, and you can see it successfully build my uh, MLL right there. However, we typically don't want to have to open Visual Studio uh, to compile our plugin. Uh, this is the case if you're in a studio and you have a lot of plugins to compile. So generally what I do 
in the command prompt. Uh, instead of compiling Visual Studio projects one way, and then if you're on Linux or Mac, you have to type make. CMake comes with a command uh, that lets you build your your plugin, no matter what platform you're on. If you say CMake dash dash build, and then specify the directory of uh, where your main build files are. You can also say which config you want. I'll say the release. If I do that, you can see it builds it in the command line and it builds successful. So I can browse, source, release. There's the MLL. If I wanted to do the debug build, I could do something like that. And there's my debug MLL with the uh, debug symbols.